1 plus x squared. Again, it's not really obvious, perhaps. So uh, you might have an intuition that if I said u equal to ln of 1 plus x squared, because you're going by i late, you have from integration by parts, you're going to have du equals 1 over 1 plus x squared here. So x squared, and then derivative of x squared is 2x. So you end up with 2x here over 1 plus x squared with the dx, the differential. Uh, let's not forget that. Okay. So then you say, hmm. Okay, so uh, dx must be equal to dv, so I integrate here, so x equals v then. All right, so then you set this up, so down below here, it's going to be, you multiply the u and the v, so it's x times ln of 1 plus x squared, minus this integral of v du. So v in our case is just x, and du in our case is 2x over 1 plus x squared with the dx, like that. Okay, then you work on this a little bit. So x ln of 1 plus x squared minus 2, and then you have x times x, which is x squared, and then 1 plus x squared dx, and now you get stuck because you have the same degree in the numerator and in the denominator. So you can't use substitution or is any rule obvious, uh, but what you can do is a small trick, which is that uh, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, right? You're always allowed to add a 0 or a form of it as needed to write an expression. So that takes the following uh, form here, x ln of 1 plus x squared minus 2. All right, and let's see, the integral is going to be x squared plus 1 minus 1. Again, this red part is just 0. That's why I can do that. And then 1 plus x squared and then dx. And let's put the c in there at this point. So you're going to have x ln of 1 plus x squared minus 2. All right, so it's going to be here, this integral of x squared plus 1. Over 1 plus x squared, it doesn't matter. You're just adding so you can flip the terms. And, but the other one will be 1 minus so 1 plus x squared uh, dx plus c. So I'm splitting this, as you can see, into pieces. Now this first piece is just 1. It's a thing divided by itself. So it's going to be x ln of 1 plus x squared minus uh, 2. Uh, minus 2, okay. So it's 1 minus 1 over 1 plus x squared dx plus c. So it's x ln of 1 plus x squared. Uh, minus 2. So the antiderivative of 1 is x, right? Of this other thing here, it's tan inverse. That's why you wanted to write it this way, see? And then plus c, and then just shift it to negative 2. So x ln of 1 plus x squared minus 2x plus 2 tan inverse of x plus c. So the key probably is right here. Where I've highlighted that expression to basically add a form of the number 0 with the plus or minus 1, and then it works.